Want to know how I did that? It's not magic, it's math. More accurately, topology. It's a field of maths that studies the properties of an object that are constant, even under deformation. Deform a cup into a donut, and yet the hole is protected. This hole is an example of a topological invariant, which by definition can only be integers. Topology is a key tool used to make some of the most profound Nobel Prize winning discoveries on the bizarre behavior of quantum matter, presenting the quantum hall effect. In 1980, Klitzing connected a thin cold strip of metal to an electric source and put it under extreme magnetic force. He expected the Hall resistance graph to look like this, but the graph jumped up in discrete steps and plateaued before the next jump. Surprisingly, the plateaus were multiples of an exceedingly precise unit, the ratio of Planck's constant and the electron's charge. This ratio was named after Klitzing, and he won a Nobel. But it was left to Tholis to explain why this baffling precision to parts per billion existed. He applied topology to study the wave function of electrons and declared that the mysterious I in the quantum Hall resistance formula was a topological invariant. An integer, like the number of holes in a donut, it was named the TKNN invariant. Thanks for watching. Uh, there's one more thing. The Ed state. Something very odd happens to electrons in the quantum Hall effect. Let me demonstrate using my cutting edge tech. Imagine these marbles are electrons. A magnetic force, my personality perhaps, impacts the electrons along the edge differently than in the bulk. These electrons are smitten and can't move. But look at this electron here. It keeps spinning and bouncing off the walls until it completes a circuit. The bulk is an insulator and the edge is a conductor. Unaffected by small imperfections or impurities in the material, this edge state is topological. No energy is lost as heat, making it a super efficient electron highway. It was a big bang moment for condensed state physics and the promise of next gen electronics that are greener, energy efficient, and faster. Imagine, fewer children will have to study under street lights, disconnected from technology. And this is thanks in part to topology. Turning cups into donuts is cool, but this is magic.